Norway's known for two things, Viking sailors and Lefso. This story is not about pastries, and Thorleif may not be a Viking, but his sails are still a story. I caught up with Thorleif at the Hemkos Center before his lecture at Concordia. Oh yes, I sailed uh, around the North Pole from uh, Murmansk, which is in Western Siberia, very close Norwegian border, it's a Russian port, and all around the world, back to Norway, to the coast of Norway, it took 80 days. Since his expedition around the world, Thorleif has been advocating for people to take action and using his own experience as a tool to tell people. We sailed into oceans without no ice, where there, there's normally been ice, and it was like switching off the light. Complete absence of animal life, absence of everything, a feeling of nihilism. And also we experienced very warm water in the North Atlantic when we sailed back home across the North Atlantic in late October. Milo Halverson of Concordia's Norwegian department was key to Thorleif's arrival in Moorhead. Um, I was expecting him to be this crazy sailor around the Arctic and actually he met my expectations about that. <laughs> he, um, he, you know, he would have to have some guts to sail around the Arctic and, um, and uh, he he really proved that you know he's a he's a Viking that lives today and uh, still wants to explore and is not afraid of challenges and he has a message to tell. After Thorleif's lecture, we asked people what they took away from his presentation. He is bringing a live message and engagement uh, directly to the people that. Um, should know about it. You don't meet people who actually have met and experienced that, and he was one that uh, is bringing the message right at the, you know, right in front of us. I thought it was pretty interesting regarding both the uh, Arctic Circle and how stuff's melting, and what the world needs to face, basically. In all honesty, is an inspiration, handling rough situations calmly. As someone who sailed around the world in 80 days, we asked thoroughly why he was talking to Concordia and other colleges. I think we can look at our expedition as an eye-opener to what's happening in the Arctic. Uh, what I hope to do is to increase the curiosity on what's going on. We need to uh, also mix different kind of professions to solve these problems. Uh, we need to uh, work together across cultural and national borders, we need really to cooperate.